Okay, I'm gonna be painting my facial board. And to do that, I need to prep my facial. My facial, I find out, it was very damaged. It's been like more than 15 years, no pain. I uh, sand and remove the old pain as much as I could, and I find out they have so many cracks, so many holes. And I was trying to find the best product out there to do the patching and something that will last. So I came across the painters and they recommend to me this product. This is what they use for the facials uh, board. Elasto patch is an elastometric compound suitable for weather changes. It doesn't crack, it expands with the changes of climate change and conditions and covers all the holes on the on the facial and I'm planning to do this uh, finish all my repairs and then apply a uh, uh, primer I'm using a thick primer primer to achieve um, a smooth uh, finish let me show you what this uh, product look like uh, let's see and I might show you what you need to do it's very simple so it is a compound like any other uh, you apply it with the putty knife four five inches three it depends whatever works for you and once you cover you cracks you use a sponge with water a wet sponge to uh, give them a smooth finish and remove the excess of uh, of the compound let me show you see if we can apply something here this is my facial see all these cracks uh, it's not it's uh, got some big cracks here so I'm gonna apply this applying to cover all the cracks it would cover cracks from one eighth to half an inch right so once you do that you apply it with a putty knife and you do section at a time you don't want to take too long because this product will dry on you it's uh it could dry on you very quickly so I'm doing uh, 12 to 18 inches at a time and then you grab the sponge you dip it and then let me see oh. Oh, a second. And then you remove the excess see that's it and then it covers the cracks and you're done and let me show you what I've done uh, this is my facial board and I have covered a lot you can go there second time two times three times until you uh, accomplish that smooth finish and this one some places are gonna go two times maybe three look at this is soft I mean, it's, it's, it's very uh, smooth finish, but this is what I did. It's, uh, it's the most easier way that I found out the best product that you can find to do this. So after uh, I sand my wood and I peel off the whole paint and also did this uh, peel the flash into the metal and I use spray can primer for the metal just for now then I will, I'm, I'm repairing right now all the fish all the fish board see and just go over you do one time two times it depends how you know how smooth you want it 
and then I'm gonna be applying uh, my primer and then the paint. I'm gonna be painting a different color than white. It's gonna be uh, some, uh, they call it cherry cola. It's like a burgundy, dark burgundy type. But see here, it was a big hole. I didn't think I was able to patch this. But I did, and you know, it's been uh, one or two days after 24 hours. Uh, it's very, very, very hard. So, you know, I did this, and I'm gonna keep doing it until I achieve what I want to have that smooth finish. And let me show you where it's going to be a lot. Here, you see this? You see all that wood how it is? It's very dry. And I'll be able to patch all that and see how it comes out. I've never done this with this product, but it's very easy to apply. You see how it is right there? And like I said, you find that product in Lowe's. I got it at Lowe's or Home Depot. I went to Home Depot, they didn't have it on that presentation. That cost me $11. That little, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, cost me eleven dollars and he, he also they have it on the tube for for cover holes I would not recommend this for uh, big holes or big uh, you know rotten wood but I, I will be able to patch all this and accomplish my smooth finish very easy apply with a potty knife and then just go section by section, you know, one step at a time. 12 inches, 18 inches at the most because it dries quickly. But as once you apply it, just right away go with the sp wet sponge and smooth it out, smooth it out. And just keep going, all right? And I gotta show you, uh, you know, I gotta keep going and then show you the end results later. See how it goes, okay, bye.